all the drama and all the histrionics and all the emotionalism that the president's out there really just isn't quite accurate. This is a slowdown in the rate of growth. Senator Rand Paul says the scheduled spending cuts will barely scratch the surface. He thinks more should be cut, both from so-called entitlement programs and also from the military. Republicans who believe in a strong national defense like I do have to say that not every dollar spent on the military is sacred or well spent. But around the country, states with a large military footprint are preparing for the worst. Economist Peter Morici says the domino effect of cuts and furloughs in several industries will be extreme. By cutting food inspectors, air traffic controllers and the like, the president can grab on choke points in the economy and shut it down. For his part, the president has been pushing Congress to come up with a plan. This is not a cliff, uh, but it is a tumble downward. As he travels around the country to try to sell his message, Republicans and conservative analysts hold the president responsible, saying it's all a ploy to raise taxes. He's going to shut down the economy, punish the American people to gain political advantage for a tax increase. The top 1% pay 40% of the income tax. The top 5% of wage earners pay 70% of the income tax. We have a very progressive income tax. And it's just it's dishonest for him to be saying these things that aren't true. Well, it seems the battle over taxes and social programs and where to make the cuts will continue on Friday. The president is scheduled to meet with top Republicans and Democrats to try to come up with a plan. But as of now, there seems to be very little that both sides agree on. In Washington, I'm Christine Frizzau reporting.